there, my fellow wedding florist friends, and welcome to the Wedding Florist Social Podcast. This is the podcast for wedding florists to learn all about acing their online presence. I'm your host, Vicky Laffey, and as a wedding florist of over 10 years now and a certified digital marketer, I want to help you get the right clients, get more followers, and never be stuck for content ideas again. Click the link in my description to get your free Wedding Florist Guide to Social Media Content Creation today. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Wedding Florist Social Podcast. It's been a few weeks since I've done a podcast, so my apologies, but we're back now uh, with another episode, and hopefully you'll like today's. Please remember to, if your podcast system allows you to, to subscribe, to like, to share, to download, all of that sort of thing, so that you don't miss out on future episodes. So today we're talking about photo shoots. Are they worthwhile doing? We all need them for our portfolios, right? You know, we all love to get photos back from a wedding we've done and put them all over our Instagram and Facebook and website, etc. But what do you do when you want more images? When you want different images or to showcase a certain design or get creative? Or maybe you need just need some images because you're just starting out and you haven't done many or any weddings yet. Well, you know, the logical answer would be to do a photo shoot. And, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So what kinds are there? What do you do if you've been asked to be part of one? Can you arrange one of your own even? Should you be charging for them? All this sort of thing. So generally, there are a couple of different kinds of photo shoots that are uh, kind of common in the wedding industry. Uh, first of all, you'll find the collaborative kind. So this is when uh, a group of wedding suppliers all get together for a portfolio building purpose, basically. And they all give their time and effort and, and product to the shoot for free, but, you know, with the aim of getting every uh, everyone getting some images for their own portfolio. So generally, this is done for free by everyone. Um, no one is getting paid or, or paying anyone to uh, be part of it because it's not a commercial photo shoot it's not a shoot that's done for commercial gain and that the you know the organizer is directly um not not one that the organizer is directly making money out of such as you know an advertising campaign for example this is purely to build people's portfolios and you know get some get some images on there so you're not directly using that image to make money from you so see you might get a florist a stationer cake maker, event stylist, photographer, bridal, um, dress company, whoever else is involved, all coming together to get something out of it, essentially. Then you get the paid photo shoots where all of the contributors are are getting paid for their time and and product. For example, um, if the shoot was for an advertising campaign or, or maybe perhaps a paid event where people are uh, paying to attend, uh, etc., you know, you know, and someone asks you to do uh, some flowers for that event, then I think it would be perfectly fair to, to charge for that. Uh, if, if you get inquiries for such things, then ask their budget, you know, um, Whereas with the the collaborative one, I would absolutely do that for free because you're getting photos in exchange uh, for that. You're getting photos for your portfolio, which would normally cost quite a lot of money, by the way, if you would um, pay a photographer to do this. Um, As well as making all of these valuable connections with other suppliers or vendors, if if you're in the US, and and getting a ton of social media content as as well. Um, That's the key there is, is is making connections with all of these other suppliers uh, or vendors. Um, You know, when you are getting paid for an event, uh, such as an ad campaign, uh, as I mentioned before, um, you wouldn't really get use of those images afterwards, you know? So you wouldn't get that that payment, if you will, <laughs> in images. And so, so that's why you charge for, for your product. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a transaction just like any other business transaction, you know, whether you were selling a bridal bouquet or, um, you, you know, doing... A, a massive hanging display at a wedding, you know, whatever that might be, 
Um, so, so that's the the key difference is, is when you, I guess, you get to use the, the images afterwards and and the the connections you make with the other suppliers while you're there. So, with with the with these collaborative photo shoots, these collaborative portfolio building shoots that that are sort of fairly common, certainly here in the UK. I mean, yes, a florist is going to be contributing more than in a financial sense than than perhaps a stationer is, you know, who, who somebody who already has the things made and doesn't have to buy a product in like we do. But everyone gets the same out of the shoot and do and you gain so much from it that they're really worthwhile doing. Yes, we put a lot of effort into these things. You know, we have to design the things to make the things and uh, buy the things. And, and, and it, it it's so much effort mentally as well as physically, you know, because you, you, you put your creativity into these things and you, and you sort of design the things. And uh, But, but, but uh, you know, it's, it's easy to sort of think, oh, well, yeah, it's easy for the the station at the sea because they don't uh, they, they've already got the things made and they don't have to make anything or produce anything but you've got to think about what you're getting out of this that's just the nature really of what what we do you know we, we work um in, in a line of work that means you have to buy in a product and then sell it at, at, at a, a profit it's just what we do um so they're really worthwhile doing anyway, but the, the, the bit I love most about doing them is that we get to be creative. You know, this is our chance to get really creative. So often we are um, d- doing things for other people. You, you know, we're, we're designing something for someone else's vision, you know, a, a bride or a groom, um, whatever our clients identify as they, they are our clients and we work for them. They, they they have a vision. They've they've looked on online like Pinterest, etc. They know what colours they want to go for. Um, they've chosen you because of the style they usually do, and and all of that sort of thing. But with photo shoots, we get to be creative. Um, we get to design our own thing for a change, and I absolutely love that bit about it. Um, it's, it's kind of playtime for us, isn't it? But I just I just have to say though. Don't just get the professional images from the day. The entire shoot is a perfect opportunity to get tons of social media content. Be taking photos, videos, think behind the scenes stuff for reels and stories, etc. This is where you get to, you know, get the absolute maximum from, from doing the shoot. I see so, so many people not doing this <laughs> they, they turn up at a shoot and think think that's all it is they, they think that they think that the professional images is, is is all they're going to get from the day you, you know and, and their phone does not leave their pockets <laughs> um it's you have you know have your phone out constantly be taking videos of behind the scenes it doesn't have to be of the perfect finished product once everything's set up on the table etc it could be selfies with the cake maker. It could be um, a behind the scenes video of people setting up the, the table or, um, you, you know, you could do a before and after reel. Or, you know, gosh, there's so, so many things you could be doing. But th- this sort of stuff could be shared on your stories, for example, throughout the day, like, you know, to build anticipation, to let people know what you're up to and to also build those connections with people online and off. You, you know, you, if you're sharing, um, say, a selfie with the cake maker, for example, to your Instagram stories, like telling people how excited you are because you're on a photo shoot today with such and such a cake maker, um, then, <laughs> you know, they're more likely to share it to their stories. Uh, and, and so then their crowd are aware of who you are when they may not have been been aware of that uh, before, um, but also in an algorithm sort of sense as well, you are um, telling the algorithm that, that is the, there's a connection between your accounts, you know? So, so it's sort of, 
builds the, the, the on a personal level, but also on, on a sort of system algorithm type level as well. Um, so you could be, you should be sharing multiple stories uh, um, throughout the, the day, as well as taking your own photographs with your phone of the finished setup and, and things like that. You, you cannot be taking enough photos and videos of these things. But I see so many people not doing it, or, or they'll maybe just do one or two shots of the final setup. And if you if that's you, then you're really not getting the maximum out of this shoot. You know, as, as florists, we pay a lot for the product, as we sort of mentioned before. You know, I've spent hundreds of pounds on flowers for photo shoots before. And I'm going to get my money's worth, <laughs> basically. Uh, uh, it, it's, it just makes total sense to me, and I don't understand why people don't do it. It doesn't even have to be pictures of yourself, you know, if you don't appear on camera, fair enough. Uh, but, but little um, little, little sort of Instagram stories or, or, or Facebook stories of, of things that have happened throughout the day, for example, or, you know, you could video do a video of sort of panning around the room that you're setting up in or maybe a picture of the venue on the way in to say, oh, my gosh, I can't, I can't wait to, to work in here today. Um, so, so many ideas, you guys. And, you know, if you, if you need ideas, please do come across to the Facebook group, the, the World Wide Web and Florist community over on Facebook and ask questions like this, um, because I'm more than happy to answer if you want me to expand on certain things. Um you, you know, I even work on a one-to-one -one basis, you guys. If you if you want a good session to bottom all this out and understand all this sort of thing, do just get in touch. Or but come across to the free group um, at least, and and just please feel free to ask any questions about this sort of thing at any time. Um, it, you know, it's also worth noting, by the way, that you, you don't have to wait for a photo shoot to land in your lap or be sat there wondering how to, to find out about all these shoots that are going on. You can organize your own, you guys, you know, think about the, the style that you want and which suppliers would fit that perfectly. And, you know, maybe think about who, you know, that you can ask as well and create your own shoot to get the images that you want. I've done that a number of times in my career of 12 years now, um, at the time of recording this and, you know, maybe an, an idea has popped into my head whilst uh, next to another supplier at a wedding fair or, you know, maybe we've got talking with someone because uh, I, I love the style of their work and, and I'm like, hey, let's collaborate. You know, you don't have to wait for someone to approach you. You can approach them and organise your own as well. Please do not be afraid to do that. You know, collaborative photo shoots are certainly very common in the UK industry. Um uh, it's all about making these these connections as well. Um, I, I would also I would sort of say as well, you know, if you're asked to be part of a collaborative photo shoot, be picky about the shoots that you go on as as well. So not every photographer's style suits your brand. Uh, maybe the the creative brief isn't really for you, or perhaps it's at a venue you're not keen on working on, or, or you know whatever it is. It's okay to say no to these things. Um, they're expensive uh, and they take a lot of effort. So, um, you know, only take part in collaborations that, that benefit you, basically. I have made that mistake before where, where I have been either very underwhelmed with the images that, that came back or I have, you know, just, just not really gotten many back at all uh, or the images just haven't been suitable for me or my brand. And... It's okay, a lesson learned the hard way, I suppose, which is why I do these podcasts so that you don't have to learn the hard way. Um, but but I just kind of wish I hadn't ever taken part in it or, you know, spent the time sort of designing a bridal bouquet for it or something like that. Uh, and and it's, it's a shame, but but that's on me, you know, because, the you know, I've said yes to a shoot without checking out the, the photographer. And it's not a case of how good a photographer they are. Um, it, it's a case of whether they suit you or, or your brand. So so even if you might be desperate for some images, you don't have to take part in every opportunity that, that comes along. So be picky about it. So you guys, I hope that has helped you today. It's just, you know, me offloading my thoughts and advice on photo shoots, having done many of them throughout my career. 
um, please do get in touch and cut cut if you need to come onto the Facebook group, the World Wide Wedding Florist Community. There should be a link in the comments, uh, in, the, in the description rather, depending on what system you're listening to this on. And if you do need me to um, explain a little bit more or if you want to book in some one-to-one -one time to discuss that uh, circumstances that are specific to you, uh, then I am always available for that. Please do let me know. We've got some exciting stuff coming up this, this year, guys, over on the group as well. So please do come across and take part. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm really happy you've been listening. And if you've reached the end, good on you. <laughs> Okay, please do reach out and let me know if this has been helpful for you. Okay, flower on. Well, thanks so much for listening all the way to the end of Wedding Florist Social. Remember to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future episodes. And if you want access to some free community and support, then head across to Facebook and look me up on the Worldwide Wedding Florist Community Group. I look forward to seeing you there.